Good morning. We've got a wholesome day in front of us, for the most part. Uh, wholesome games, wholesome direct. Be starting here in about 10 minutes. Yeah. Uh, they got over 70 titles they've jam packed into an hour. And then uh, I'll check out the uh, Latin America showcase and the women centric Summer Game Fest. See if there's anything worthwhile in those, and if so, I'll include them after this. But uh, there's usually a few things at these Wholesome Directs that stand out to me, um, but this will just be a nice little marathon of coziness for the most part of this video. Uh, so we'll get started once it actually gets a going. You know, I love the aesthetics of Wholesome Games. <laughs> it's just really charming. Running a little behind. Okay. <laughs> After a countdown into another countdown, here we are. And there's some games that I recognize that I am very excited to see appearing here. Apparently, we just have captions in German. Anyway. It's not just creatures, though. It's people, too. This is cute. You get to play as Artemis. And combine stuff? Interesting. The animation on this is extremely nice. Kind of a puzzle-based thing. Yeah, that's interesting. All right, this already looks like something I'd be into. <laughs> Apologize, my allergies are really bad today, so I will try not to cough into the microphone. I am enjoying what I'm seeing about this game. Heart of Ant Sandwich. Yeah, let's go. That was the bookstore game. I am very intrigued by this one as someone who uh, used to work at used and new independent bookstores. Next year, that got pushed quite a bit. I remember that showing up last year.
But I'm very intrigued by that game, and I hope it comes to a platform that I can play it on. Ooh, this has a nice art style to it. So you get to paint. Design houses. 3D stamps. Interesting. I kind of dig this. Yeah, this is cool. I like this. I always say this at some point during these presentations, but I just really think that Wholesome Direct is a wonderful thing. Because it points out a lot of these indie games that you just don't hear as much about because they're just chill. And they're from smaller teams. But just are wonderful artistic and, and, you know, cozy is really what they're all about. But it's just great being able to kind of get out of the glut of what a lot of the mainstream game conferences are, um, which is something that I complain about quite a bit. <laughs> and to just have stuff like this, like a supermarket game where you get to lay out what your store looks like and sell it to people. You wouldn't probably see this in Sony's State of Play or Summer Game Fest. Even though I will admit that Summer Game Fest did a little bit better on the indie front this year. Um, but like managing a store and then the difficulties of being, a, being that store owner in a community and trying to deal with, you know, all of that element. I think it's a cool idea. Um, and you probably just wouldn't see that type of thing in a, in a major publisher or Keeley branded event. So I, I really appreciate Wholesome Games for what they do. This game has really good art direction. I'm trying to get a sense of what it plays like. It looks like a simulation game, but I, I didn't get the greatest sense of what it was about. Gives me some Age of Mythology vibes for some reason. Okay, I'm kind of into this. kind of interesting playing Age of Mythology because I really enjoyed the building components of it more so than the combat. And this just looks very charming. Like, it's kind of SimCity-esque, but very fantasy. I'm into it. If that comes to a platform that I can play it on. Alright, these crabs are adorable.
So you can assign roles to your crabs to do different things. You go deeper underwater. Interesting. I'm trying. I'm trying to think what this reminds me of. But it's definitely like a management, not quite an RTS, but you have to kind of keep track of things, and apparently you save coral in the process. Interesting. Kind of a cool concept. This is a very well done voxel look. I am so picky about voxel games, but this one looks good. I'm getting a slight bit of what if a short hike but you were a witch, <laughs> which is not a complaint. I love a short hike, but it's got a little bit more platforming going on. Customize your character, which is nice. Okay, I think that's a cool concept. Hopefully, that gets kickstarted. So, Dungeons of Hindenburg. I have been looking at this game for two years, and it's been pretty high up on my most wanted indie game list, even though it's not coming to a platform currently that I own. It's only been Xbox and Steam, I think. But this game just looks fantastic. Every time it shows up, I get really jazzed about it. The art style is really good. Like, super good. It's probably one of the best looking indie Zelda likes I've seen. Period. It captures that essence really well. But it is still currently only coming to Xbox and Steam. So, as much as I think it's rad, I will probably never play it until they bring it to the PlayStation or to the Switch successor, because it looks too nice to be on regular Switch. Alright, this looks like it might be slightly chaotic. <laughs> Personally, like they just died. This is interesting. I don't really... Is this like a school sim? It definitely looks like you build relationships with people and all of that. It looks interesting. The art style is very distinct. art style. Okay, so this is a hidden object game, it looks like. But it's very cute. Looks like there's more to it than that. Yeah, this is kind of all over the place in terms of what the gameplay loop seems, but it looks really appealing. It's really well animated. Lost and Found Co. Okay, cool. Ooh, this has a very nice style to it. This reminds me of Link's Awakening a little bit.
It looks like you get to customize. You get to hunt bugs. Ooh, I love the perspective. This game looks really nice. Wow. This game looks great. Little Lands. Okay. Hopefully that comes to a platform that I have. Because I think that might be my favorite new thing I've seen in this entire thing. This is also very cute. this concept. Customizing ramen. Getting money for petting cats. <laughs> oh, I remember this game. This is great that we get to see more of it. I can't remember the name of it. I just remember this character very prominently. This looked really good last year. Yeah, they've added a lot of different uh, mini games and stuff to it. And you're solving a mystery and able to like rewind time and use these cards that you're picking up to rebuild scenes and develop the people that you're around. Yeah, on your tail, that's what it was called. This one looks really cool. I've seen this before. I do like the art style. This is interesting because you have to like work with your cohorts to find consensus, which I think is a great concept. And things won't always be easy. But you won't have to do it all for them. Tracks of Thought is available on Steam and the Epic Store Tracks of Thought. I want to say I've seen something on that game. That, that main character looked really familiar. Okay, well, we are done with Wholesome Direct. Again, wonderful presentation. I love... I love what they do here. Um, it's really cool seeing Victoria Tran here since she was... Uh, very prominent yesterday at Summer Game Fest with Outer Sloth, so I, I think that's just fantastic. Um, we'll see what's going on with the other two shows, and then if there's anything of note, it'll follow this. If not, then we'll just, uh, I'll record a closer that says something different. I took a break, rested my voice, and uh, there was a few other games that were announced in the showcase before Wholesome Direct that I want to spotlight, as well as one that was in the Wholesome Direct but was sandwiched in a montage that was just a nightmare to edit, so I just didn't bother editing. <laughs> so let's go ahead and watch Nova Hearts. Uh, this is by the team that did Other Side, which is a game I tried. Didn't quite catch my attention, but look at how sick this game looks. It's a game where you build relationships, but you also fight as superhero-like characters. 
and it definitely seems like this is a buy friendly game so you a pro tag can go whatever direction you want them to go in terms of a relationship um combat looks like it might be a little bit early because it's only this cute little cat enemy that you're fighting but the animation looks great the character design is spectacular um I did hear it with sound earlier, and the sound was good. So yeah, I'm pretty pumped about that. That, uh, that was a very nice surprise. Here's another one that uh, was in the uh, Wholesome Direct, but it was very brief. And this is a longer trailer. The star named Eos, which I faintly recall from last year the name's ringing a bell let's just put it that way Day. Day. that's right i'm remembering it more now you are like kind of like finding memories by doing a bunch of puzzles and stuff have you ever looked forward to the thing you've been chasing only to find it right in front of you. And taking photographs and things like that. Um, but I think this game has like a really cool premise and, and um, just kind of a nice Every aesthetic day. to it. When you gaze at the stars, the stars also gaze at you. That uh, made me want to uh, they do not fade away spotlight it. Just because you close your eyes. And that's going to be out very soon. Um, I don't remember if I showed off Abyss Cross Zero before, uh, but this is a very Mega Man Legends inspired game in terms of the aesthetic. It looks really, really sick. Um, I forget what team's doing this. I think it's the... What is their name? I almost had it. They had a very critically acclaimed game, and I'll just put it in the captions, because I don't quite remember what the name of it was. Um, but this just looks really, really good. Really, really good. It looks like you've got a couple different playable character options. To ride around on a bike. It moves pretty quick, which I think is nice. So yeah, I just think this looks like it could be an extraordinarily good game. Um, so I'm hopeful that it will be. And then last but not least is uh, Kitsune Tales, which showed up very quickly in the Wholesome Direct. This is a slightly longer release date trailer than what they showed there. So we're getting a little bit more footage of it. I have been waiting to see more on this game for a while now. It looks fantastic. Really charming looking. Looks like it controls extremely well. That's coming out on August 1st for PC, but it will eventually hit other platforms, and I'm very excited about it. Now, <laughs> let's try to watch the Latin American Games Showcase. Finally. <laughs> I don't know what was going on with YouTube, but I couldn't go backwards in the Latin American Game Showcase if my life depended on it. Thankfully it didn't, because I couldn't. <laughs> um, I have tried recording this showcase like five times, and it just won't let me go back. And it final, it, it's over. I'm going to fly through it to find things that I think look cool and then by the time I'm done the women's led summer games fest will probably be done as well um, 
I understand there's a lot of people tuning into YouTube because of all these announcements, but regardless, it's annoying. <laughs> I'm done ranting. Let's check out things that catch my interest here at the Latin American Game Showcase. So this has a nice, charming visual style. Dungeon Drafters. So does this mean that you make your own dungeon? And you set it up for people to do certain things? Very interesting. So yeah, this looks like it's taking some of the some of the things about the Link's Awakening Dungeon Maker, but is doing it better. Yeah, I think this might actually be more interesting, and it's apparently available now. So that's cool. Speaking of Link's Awakening. <laughs> All right, mystery game, a psychic detective. Oh, this is Read Only Memories Neurodiver. I've heard a lot of promising stuff about this game. And he's not to be trusted. Is he dangerous? I know how Yeah, the animation is really good. The facial expressions are really good. Which is a pretty stellar move. Character design is strong. I've not played the first Read Only Memories game, but I've always thought it looked nice. So that's it. Maybe we'll see each other again. So yeah, that's cool. My crew and I are the system down. Well, this just came right out of the gate as something that looks really sick. It's time to finish this masterpiece. We definitely need more jet set radio <laughs> influence in video games, and that's what this is. Let's make a off the wall now. Platformer. It's a shame that Gearbox is publishing it. <laughs> As I always say, it's a shame that Gearbox is publishing it because that is a very quick way for me to just not really care. But it looked great! This also looks pretty interesting. Probably more religious than I would like but it does have a very good art style. But it, it looks like you could go good or evil, which I think is kind of interesting. It looks really interesting. I don't know if it's a game for me, but it looks really interesting. Okay, well, we are now officially starting. All right, I got briefly spoiled on this, but Dreams Incorporated, the creators of Chris Tales, fresh off of their Lunar Landar Beyond, are taking on a new role-playing game, and the art style, as always, looks Incredible. I still haven't got the Chris Tales. I'm disappointed in myself. <laughs> but this game looks fantastic. And it looks like it's kind of running on the same engine. Prisma. Not gonna be for a while. But, uh... That game looked so good. Um, I was looking at a still of it, and I was like, whoa. And, uh... I need to play Crystal. That's just really... 
really the core lesson that I need to be taking. <laughs> and not talking over this poor game that I have no interest in. So, I saw a little bit of this. So wonderfully animated. You collect your children as you go along. But it's just a classic 2D platformer that just looks like it's hitting all the right buttons if you are especially into speed runs and seeker hunting. Just really charming looking. And you can throw your children. <laughs> Yeah, just, I just thought that looks pretty good. That looks pretty good. All right, I saw a little bit of this in advance, so I know I wanted to watch this. But this is a role-playing game set on a 2D plane. Gorgeous animation. But definitely looks like it's a more serious game. But it is coming to Switch. PlayStation and all the things, so this is a standout to me. Definitely one I want to know more about. Alright. I don't know what this is, but as I was flipping through, it looked interesting. Some really powerful character design in this. This bright work is solid. Gameplay looks really interesting. And I do kind of hope that the uh, animated scenes that we're seeing in this trailer are in the game too. They are really well done. Yeah, this looks like it might be pretty rhythm heavy, so that might be a deterrent for me to want to actually play it. But I think this is a very impressive looking game. I'll be paying attention for this one. For sure about childhood and the magical grip that soccer held over the people of this the one really stood out when I was By flipping then, through it I don't know if it's really a game that I want to play from Ecuador. but I do want to point out really visually the sport, arresting also the freedom and magic he felt just by and, uh, around. 
with the ball at our feet. Gameplay transforms into a playground challenging concept. Wonderful exploration. This is just kind of neat. Unforgettable human connections. All kinds of connections. Oh yes. Oh yes. Give me slick combat. <laughs> So quest. I am already really enjoying what I'm seeing about this game. I also kind of appreciate, at least as of right now, that it's not hyper violent. A lot of these games can be. Ooh, super moves. That was a good one, too. Yeah, this game looks great. I hope it controls as well as it looks like it does. Because I am intrigued. And apparently it was a kickstarted game. All right, this has some nice background elements. Immediately caught my interest. This game has some interesting camera perspectives. Is it a role-playing game? Apparently it's a role-playing game. I kind of like this main character, though. <laughs> Codex Eternal Eclipse. This game looks pretty good. There's some great stuff in this. I'm glad I watched it. This is an interesting one. Because this looks like, what if you were Resident Evil, but with the modern, like, old school. Like, this is clearly modeled after the PS1 ones. But the camera perspective is right behind your back. Like, the new ones. And it's a role-playing game, like Hybrid Heaven. <laughs> but with guns. Absolutely wild looking game in terms of just execution. So yeah, I don't know anything else beyond what was in this trailer, but it looked pretty interesting. It stood out. Okay. That was the Latin American showcase. That was really good. Um, and I probably missed a couple things here and there. Um, the women-led games is still going, so I'm running into the same problem. Um, but the very first game looked awesome the two seconds I got to see of it before it locked up. So I'm just going to wait a little bit longer for this to end, and then I'll have an easier time struggling with it later. <laughs> uh, this may have been in the Latin America Games Fest. I just missed it. Um, but this is uh, Mariachi Legends by the Nine Years of Shadow team. I remember looking at this last year and being pretty impressed by it visually. Entonces aquí está tu servidor limpiando el cochinero. And they're having fun with this trailer. They had they got a little bit of budget. Still haven't got to nine years of shadow. 
Eventually I will. So I think how this game works is you have this this character, which is the action part, and then you have the other character, which is like a mystery part. I forgot that this game is kind of violent. <laughs> but it was kind of violent last time, too. But it's got a lot of really nice animation. So, uh... I think that's a nice little, uh... Nice little game there. So let's watch... This really cool looking game. It looks like a run and gun on planes. Maybe some characters are running guns and some characters are more beat em up style. Although it looks like all the characters have options. The animation looks really good. I like all the colors. Depending on how collaborative it is, that might not be something that I ultimately play. But it looks fantastic. It looks fun. Speaking of games earlier, that reminds me of like the stuff that I really like about this type of game for PC. Just like building stuff, but this is literally Age of, M of Mythology, possibly without the warfare. <laughs> you have the gods even. Um, but yeah, I just remember like chopping down trees and building stuff, building farms. Watching your people do the work. Oh wow, and you can really zoom out. So it looks like it's a little bit more Civ, perhaps? But you can lead legions, it says. So I'm guessing that you will train soldiers and you do have to ultimately fight. But I'm still kind of like into this. How does combat work? Combat almost works like uh, tabs. And I bet the gods just jump in once in a while. Yeah. That's neat. I like that. I think that's a really cool concept. It's probably not coming to a console, because it probably wouldn't control very well. Alright, this caught my eye, like, the second I passed by it. This reminds me a lot of um, older book illustrations, which is gorgeous. And if you know the part of me that's not the Levels Plus personality, but the uh, classic book collector who also runs a blog on books <laughs> from a particular publisher, these illustrations just are striking me as that aesthetic. really really well done visuals like holy cow that shot up really high on my woe list I don't know if it's coming to anything that I have but it looks really good alright well that was a lot of trailers <laughs> um this is going to be a hard year to 
come up with a top 11, and we still haven't seen what stuff Microsoft has on tap for tomorrow. There's probably going to be some other cool indie stuff through the other various shows I'm not going to watch, um, but we'll catch up on those um, perhaps with the Nintendo Direct whenever that drops, which I imagine will be this week. They probably don't want to miss the momentum too much. But there was a lot of good stuff all the way around in all three of these presentations. So kudos to all of the uh, crews that put it together for each of those shows. Did a great job. But I'm going to stop for now because I need a break. <laughs> Till next time, take care.